welcome back to arc tutorials this is yet another app review session and in today's episode we are reviewing tab 9 if you are a developer and haven't used tab 9 you're missing out what is tab 9 it's one of the best code completion and code AI driven coding assistant for developers let's learn all about it tab 9 is an AI powered completion tool that enhances your coding efficiency by providing intelligent code suggestions. It can write code for you. It can understand the logic of your application. It leverages advanced machine learning models, which helps developers write code faster, reduce errors, and even implement best practices across our code. It's widely used as a plugin in Visual Studio code by a lot of developers and enterprises, including myself. So also, what are some of the striking features of tab nine? Tab nine provides us with intelligent code completion. It has multi language support. That means you can uh, write and get auto completion, code completion, code generation in different languages like uh, JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Java, C++ and much more. It's real time suggestions. That means it understands what you're writing and it will then provide you suggestions, which increases code speed and accuracy. I use it as part of the Visual Studio code, but it's available in PyCharm, IntelliJ, IDEA and Eclipse. It uses natural language processing. That means your code descriptions will be in much more uh, generic English language. You can use it to generate your code unit tests, all of it automatically. Now, what is the pricing? It's free for developers. So go ahead. You should if you're not using one, you should start using from today onwards. If you're an enterprise or want to get a pro version, you can do that as well. What are the pros? It it, it significantly, uh, you know, reduces coding time. It reduces the errors. Uh, it has a wide range of flexibility with different programming languages. You can customize and fine tune in your code bases and personal projects or enterprise projects. It's secure. That means uh, your code confidentiality privacy is maintained while you're using tab nine. What are some of the cons? Um, in some of the editors, right? The it's not full fledged, full uh, free version is not fully supported. Um, for that, you need to get a license. But yeah, that's one of the restrictions. Some of the uh, new developers might find it like a learning curve. But that's once one time learning and you should be um, good to go. You'll also find yourself dependent on it over time. Uh, over time, you'll stop thinking and <laughs> use more of AI to generate the code, which in some terms is good. In some terms, it's not that great. Let's go ahead, check it out. So you go to tab 9.com and that's what is the website where you can check out all the details of this particular tool but you can go ahead, install it and you can get started for free as a plugin. So you can see it has the AI code assistant. It's a personalized. That means it will understand the context of your code of your project and then give you suggestions. It can generate test cases for you. It has the entire software development lifecycle covered for you. It also takes care of code privacy and zero data retention. That being said, scroll down and you can see it in action. You can integrate. You can just ask it what to do, what not to do. It will tell you everything right in the Visual Studio Code Editor. Pricing, I talked about it. If you are a dev, go ahead, install it for free so, and you can use it as a plugin. It's excellent. Once you start using it, you won't go back. If you're an enterprise, uh, do consider check out the advanced features that are provided in as an enterprise and you can consider it for your team. All right, do let me know uh, what your thoughts are about the tab nine. It's one of the amazing apps that you should explore and definitely it's free. So give it a try. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I hope you will use this. Do let me know in the comment section if you already use it. What are your thoughts about it? Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.